Hi, Todd Burns here with Homebrew Happy Hour. Today, we're recording the second part of our series on extract brewing. And, to, and we're gonna show you how to go from your primary into your secondary. So this is the secondary that we're going to use. It's glass. And we're going to use this iodifer. This is a BTF. And we used a different sanitizer last time. It really is not terribly important to me which of the two we use, because I like both of them. Very simple, you just measure it out. On this particular sanitizer, it's about an ounce or 30 milliliters will make the proper amount. So I'm just gonna fill this up. Now when I finish filling this up, I have a bucket down here. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna take the sanitizer after it's sat in here for a couple of minutes, and I know, I know that this vessel is sanitized, and I'm gonna sanitize my transfer system here. So this is called an auto siphon. And what you do is you put this all together, put this down into here, and then you pump it, and then you can put the sanitizer into the bucket. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna put the, the siphon into the bucket. I'm gonna make sure that all the surfaces are sanitized that are gonna fit down into the primary, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, now we have this sanitized. We've added a couple of minutes, and we're ready to go ahead and get the liquid out of here. So I'm gonna put my auto siphon in and start that. And then what this will do is give me some sanitizer in a bucket that I can put this in and make, you know, I'll actually wrap the hose around and make sure it's submerged so that everything that I'm using is sanitized before we start the transfer. Okay, so we're ready to do our transfer. I'm gonna go ahead and take my bubbler out. When you take the lid off, what I like to do is just start it and go all the way around. Uh, that way you're not trying to pry it off and it makes it a lot easier. So once you get to this point, it just comes right off. Man, the beer smells great. I think we did a good job on this one. And this is obviously the pale ale that we did in the first episode. So just grabbing my stuff out of the sanitizer. Uh, you do not need to rinse this sanitizer, but what I like to do is just kind of make sure that it drip, drip dries really well. And then I'm going to notice that I haven't touched anything that's going into my secondary. So now we have the hose in our secondary and we're gonna put this in the beer. And you don't have to put it, in fact, I would recommend not putting it all the way down at this point. So what I like to do is get it started. So now that it's started, we've got a nice flow. I've got my hose all the way in the bottom. And what's important there is you don't wanna have a lot of, uh, you don't wanna have any splashing. You just want it to be flowing in there so that it's, uh, it's coming up from the top and you're not getting any oxygen in the beer. So once I start this, what I like to do is then slowly bring it down and you'll, you'll start to see at some point you saw some, some color there. And what that was was the stuff in the bottom of this. So what, what I like to do is stay way above that. Uh, with some beers, you can go all the way to the bottom and leave it there. And then some beers just have collected more in the bottom and you, and you can't. So this particular one, I'm gonna hold it right above so that I don't, get, I don't get too much of the stuff in the bottom in here. Doesn't hurt to get a little bit in here because again, we're, we're doing a secondary and it's gonna settle again and it's gonna fall to the bottom. And then you're gonna, the third time you're gonna, you're, you're gonna pull this beer to another vessel, whether you're kegging or you're bottling. And at that point, most of, you're gonna have very little in there and it's a little higher in the center so you can put it in the center. You don't have to worry about grabbing any of that, any of that stuff. So we're getting close. What I like to do is tilt this and then go down again to where I'm getting some stuff. And then I can kind of watch it. And when you, when you get towards the end, what's gonna happen 
is you're going to get to the point where you want to stop pulling it out and you'll know that because you'll see all the stuff on the bottom. As you notice on the carboy, we're getting a lot of beer in here. So we've, you know, we, we put enough beer in here where we're getting a full five gallons. You may not always get a full five gallons and that, that's fine too. You, you know, you don't have to get exactly five gallons for this to work. And we're towards the end here. And I'm gonna stop this right there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, so you can kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. If you look inside of here, you can see all the yeast and everything and just a little bit of beer on the edge. And what I did is get as much of that as I could without sucking the yeast in. So now we have it in our secondary. We're gonna go ahead and put a, uh, a top on this, like a bung, and then we're gonna put an airlock back in. I like to replace the, the liquid in the airlock, make sure it's sanitized again. And then we're gonna let it sit for a while longer until we're ready to bottle or keg. All right, now I've got my bung and my uh, bubbler here. And what I'm gonna do is just put this in nice and tight. I've just, I've just sanitized all of this, put a little bit of new uh, sanitized water in there. And then I'll just put this into the bung hole and it will just sit there and protect it during this time. So this is our second video in the third, in the three video series. The next video that we'll have, we're gonna show you how to bottle your beer from here and we'll may even show you how to keg the beer.